and a happy weekend. Have you been seeing more butterflies in your yards or around San Antonio? It's probably because right now San Antonio, South Texas specifically, playing host to more than one type of butterflies during a migration period. I spoke with a local ecologist about what butterflies are migrating through this month and why they are so important to our biodiversity. Monarch butterflies, they are beautiful and in some cultures are symbols of hope. In Mexico, the monarchs represent the souls of the dead returning to Earth for their annual visit. And right now you can see them migrating through San Antonio. This is the population that makes that long journey of uh, 2,000 miles between their overwintering grounds in Mexico and areas uh, north of us here. The monarchs pass through South Texas and feed on native flowers for nectar to fuel up for the extensive trip. Earlier this year, some of our KSAC crew members were able to visit the forest in Mexico where millions of monarchs live during the winter months. But monarchs aren't the only butterflies migrating through our neighborhoods right now. Lee Marlowe, a sustainable landscape ecologist for the San Antonio River Authority, says American snout butterflies are flooding the area by the hundreds of thousands. They are moving more regionally and they're moving because of new growth on a host plant that they use called hackberry. These butterflies are more than just beautiful creatures to look at. Marlo explains butterflies and other pollinators like bees, birds, wasps and insects are crucial to our food supply. Pollinators are important to us because of the food that it results from their activities. And she says we are seeing less of them. It is most likely related to habitat loss and habitat conversion. So loss of natural native plant cover and native plant communities is the biggest driver of loss of uh, animal life. Marlowe explains that our butterflies and insect pollinators are connected very closely to our bird population. And once one part of the food chain in our ecosystem weakens, it has a domino effect. But there are ways we can help. Marlo says by planting native plants, especially flowering native plants with blooms like this is a really great example. Greg's mist flower because they provide food and nectar for butterflies and other pollinators. We can help to restore and conserve some of this biodiversity that we know is really important for our own survival. Well, the Texas Butterfly Ranch will be hosting a month-long series of virtual events from movie screenings about the importance of our bees to tutorials on how to garden for monarchs and pollinators. And that can all be found on the Texas Butterfly Ranch website. You can find a link to that right now on our website at KSAT.com.